Jane contacts Tom's friend Steve and relates what has happened. I think I know where he is. Uh, if you don't hear me from within an hour, I think you should call the police. Well, thanks for your help, Steve. 20 minutes later, Steve arrives at the viaduct. A bit late for a walk, mate. What are you doing here? Well, uh, we used to come here some time ago just to put the world to rights, uh, over a few beers, of course. I just thought this would be the place for you to come if you've got something to think about. I nearly did it, Steve. I was so close, I had my feet over the edge, and then I realised so much more I could do with my life. I have a daughter, I'm getting married, I've still got a job, and even if I lose that, I'll get another job, hopefully. But then I thought, what about everybody else in my life, all my family and friends? I could just kept seeing their sad faces. Well, I'd have been truly gutted. Really? Well, yeah, you still owe me a pint. But seriously, you and Jane are my best mates. I know I've been a bit of an arse at times, but uh, you've always stood by me. And I'm also your best man. I, I take it, Jane man. Yes, you did. Both me and your father were out looking for you. Which reminds me, uh, I'd better ring them both. Well, can I ring them? Tom gets home. He's tired, but still manages to have a good conversation with Jane. At 8 o'clock in the morning, Tom gets up and gets ready for work. What are you doing? I'm going to work. Well, I thought you were going to report in sick. But I work for Headway. It's so obvious. Why don't you speak to, to Sam and see if he can work something out for us and make it easier? I'll also ask him for some time off. Tom goes to work and calls in on the manager. Sam, have you got a few minutes? Sure. Is there a problem? Tom explains what happened last night. I know it's taken you a lot of courage to come and see me. I suggest that you take some sick leave. Things will be okay. Don't worry about the training course next week. I'll run it. Tom, I would like to suggest that you have um, some counselling sessions with um, Stella Armstrong. Stella Armstrong? Who's that? Stella is a counsellor that I refer cases to. I think you'll find her useful. And, and I would like to think that she will put some coping strategies in place for you and Jane. A counsellor? You're joking. I'm a Yorkshire lad. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it just doesn't sound right. You said yourself that you wanted help. Uh, I'm just pointing you in the right direction. It's up to you. It's your choice. Yeah, just think about it. What will everyone say? You don't need counselling. You just need a rest. Take a break. No, Tom. There is help out there. See, you've been given this opportunity. Don't waste it. Grab it with both hands. It's your future. Even more importantly, it's your family's future. Well, go on then, Tom. Make that call. Oh, bugger. Tired, what's up with you? You're either crying or laughing. Oh, I just can't cope with this. Jane! Jane! Oh, what is it? He's telling her she just won't shut up. I don't know what to do with her. Oh, look, give it to me. All she needs changing is in a bottle. You could have done that. What's up with you? It was your turn to get up, and now we're both here. I'm going to be shattered, shattered for the rest of the day now, and I was looking forward to a good night's sleep. 
<laughs> what about me? <laughs> what about me? I have to work, you know. You have it easier staying here at home doing nothing. Well, I'm not there, so I'll give my guts out. You're doing nothing? You haven't got a clue. You only think about yourself since Ellie's been born. You haven't got any time just for us. I mean, when was the last time we were together? You keep going out with your mates and getting drunk. But we're getting married soon. You seriously need to change your ways. This is not the Tom Robinson I want to marry. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm off out. Can't do with you nagging. Look, you can't go out. You've got to go to work in the morning. And where are you going to go this time of night anyway? Don't tell me what I can and can't do. Anyway, Shady's nightclub's open. And Steve will be there. At least he'll appreciate me. Oh, Tom. Fantastic move, Tom. Now she's turning it to a right bloody nag. You don't need this, you know. You're not getting married yet. There's still time to back out. No, Tom. She's always been there for you. It's just you're both going through a difficult stage at the moment. It is to be expected with a baby on the scene. Get a grip of yourself, Tom. Who does she bloody think she is? You're a free man. You have two paths to choose. One for self-fulfillment, and just you alone and no one else in the way. Well, there's the other one you can choose. Well, you know, I mean, boring domestic life doesn't suit you, does it? Come to your senses, Tom. You know where you need to be. I know where I want to be. Tom arrives at the nightclub. Hey Tom, great to see you. What are you doing here then? Just had a big bargain with Jane, so I thought I'd pop down for a few drinks to try and calm down. Great. Come and meet Gareth. He's just joined the old rugby club. Alright Gareth, how are you doing? Not bad. Not happy about the drink selection. Why? What are you drinking? Oh, Vivian. Let's take a good few. Let's take a good few. Toxic oblivion is like what I feel. Toxic oblivion, three shots of vodka, one shot Tia Maria, one shot Jack Daniels, Red Bull, guaranteed to get you well drunk and to give you wings, apparently. <laughs> it's gonna definitely give us a better than my mum. I don't know, it sounds like I look, look sounds like one need, but looking at Alistair, I don't think I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> That indeed is a scary sight, yeah. But don't blame me about this. Uh, Janie's always blaming me for getting you drunk. What, she nags you as well? Oh, I've had enough of it. Nags me, uh, not much. Anyway, apparently she's a good lass, she cares for you, and the arrival of Ellie adds to the dynamics of the relationship. But, oh, you, flip your mother. Look, are you getting them drinks in or what? I'm certainly not your mother, pal, no. Uh, anyway, what was I thinking? I forgot myself there. Barman, three toxic oblivions, please. See, this is what I'm talking about. Freedom, the night to do whatever you want. See, this is how it should be. No, Tom, we respect we have your responsibilities. Son of Tom, enjoy your bloody self. Next morning.